mom is gonna laugh when she sees that I am in a turtleneck. I'll just cover up the the neck here. So I really want to create like bohemian outfits for you guys and just like bohemian pieces. Like today we're gonna do bohemian boots and I don't know if you guys have seen those on Pinterest where they are amazing. They, oh, they've been on my Pinterest board for like the longest time. The only reason why I have not been able to buy them is because they are crazy expensive. So I really wanted to create this video for the fashionista like myself who just can't really afford boots that expensive. So I'm going to kind of go in a different way about uh, doing this DIY video and because I know I just posted that flower dress video in a different kind of format by talking over it, so you guys have to let me know what you prefer. The great thing about this project is that you really don't have to like match e each boot. You know, if you're going to like the store and you actually, if you are OCD, like sometimes I'm pretty like OCD and I have to like match everything, like each side has to be the same. But with this project, you don't have to do that. Like the boots can be pretty different. So for part of the fabric that I found, I found this amazing fabric. I'm gonna zoom in on it for you guys, but it is called, I had it upside down, <laughs> is Freedom Yarn. And it's so cool, it's pretty expensive, but I had a 40% off. And also I was looking at all the other fabrics and none of them really stood out to me, except for this one. It's kind of like tie-dye and it looks fun and ripped and just kind of like older, I guess. The really cool thing about this, as you can tell with like the name of the fabric, it's for a cause. And I am a sucker for a cause, especially human trafficking. Like my autofocus is so loud, so I'm like working on manual focus. So if I keep like leaning back and forth, I might be out of focus. So let's just hope that I stay in the same place. Stay in the same place. I got a, another handkerchief. Everything goes with black, so I feel like that with a pop of color is going to look really great. So I'll probably cut this in half and then put it on each boot because it's, it's large enough to wrap around. So Another fabric that I got at Hobby Lobby was this lace. And I don't know if I'll zoom in. I keep, I'm like showing you guys and I don't know if you can even see them. But I got some lace that we're going to put around the boot as well. I love lace. So much. You either like it or you don't, and I'm a love it. So while I was at Hobby Lobby, Justin and I really have like a problem with scissors. We like lose them all the time, and so I just got some fabric scissors at Hobby Lobby because I've been using our kitchen ones, and that's really gross and unsanitary. So you should definitely get some good scissors um, that actually cut fabric too. So that's good. Moving on to the thrift store. I went to the thrift store and I got some belts. See, I'm trying to not be OCD, so it's kind of like half-half. This one belt, okay, has fun stuff on it. Could not find another one like that. Don't know why. I mean, I was at the thrift store, hello. So I got some tiny belts for the other boot that are, you know, like, this is like a tiny beaded belt. And then I'm going to pair it with this one, so it's kind of like the same almost the same concept. They're kind of like, I don't know, strappy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how to call it, but this one's like strappy and this one's beady and then together they become a strappy. So you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I bought these Aldo boots a while ago and I just want to update them. So we're going to start with the handkerchief and it's super easy. We're just going to cut right along the crease. So now that our hanky is all in half, now we can start wrapping it. If your boots have buckles like mine, it's actually not a bad thing at all. It's easy to tuck the fabric in. It's lace time! <laughs> So I got about a yard of this lace. The great thing that I loved about this was that it was super stretchy. So even though I had to cut it in half for each boot, I still had plenty of fabric left. While you're wrapping, one thing to be very mindful about is your zipper. Nothing's worse than going crazy and having fun and then realizing that you can't zip up or zip down. <laughs> So I actually did get my hot glue gun out for this project just to make sure that the fabric was not going anywhere. Onto the Freedom Yarn. You guys, it just keeps getting easier and easier. You just make layers. That's basically all you do. Super easy. And then finally you end with the last belt. And this you can either just strap on 
or you can just what I did is I strapped it on and then I just glued certain parts so that it wouldn't move for watching guys and until next time you've just been beauty marked. Stop.